We're back with part 58 of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And this is the... Uh... You know, I've actually lost count of how many times I've been trying to record this part because... For one reason or another, mostly due to me stumbling my words and sounding like a complete dick... I've had to re-record this over and over again, and I have not come out with a very good video. But here's where the kicker is. The other night I was trying to record, and repeatedly... The noise from downstairs, my neighbors, they have kept me from actually making good content because their music was so loud, it was bleeding into my commentary, and I wasn't able to get anything going. But that was then, this is now. We're back at the Night Academy, and we're going to talk to Headmaster Gaipora, and hopefully find out some more about the Triforce. Hey, Chief. Let's talk. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me what you can't? Hmm. I... understand. I'm sure you have good reason for keeping quiet. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning, or choice for that matter, but I wish to help you as best I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful too. I wish to share as much of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any question, any question at all about Skyloft or its history, I will be glad to tell you all that I know. That's good. Spill it. What do I know of the Triforce? Link. Where did you hear that word? Oh, great. He's revving his engine downstairs. Sorry. Ugh, I swear, it's like I cannot catch a break. Anyway, I'm just gonna forego this. The Headmaster says that the Triforce is mentioned in ancient texts, but he doesn't know where it is, so yeah, he can't help. Well, can't win them all. Hey. Link, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levias, the great Sky Spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levias has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. That's great. Where is he? Yes. I fear that might be your next question. About that. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levias is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked Instructor Allen to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Instructor Allen could fill me in on the details later, so I wanted to go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Okay, so... from the headmaster to the head teacher. Okay, so it looks like we may finally catch a break in the case. And if I'm not mistaken... yeah. That's his room. Howdy. I've got questions for you, pal. Mm. Ah, Link. How goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias? Ah, so you've been talking to the Headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but... That's not the Levias we know. That's... A monster. It certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change. Or old, wise, and creatures change, rather. Perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? That's impossible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Okay, but if you grab the lab, it costs extra. So to break it down, Instructor Allen is going to teach us a new bird riding technique. Well, it's not entirely new, but it's an upgrade, if you will. You know how we can dash through the sky and get a burst of speed? 
we're getting an upgrade to that. It's called the Spiral Charge. So basically, it's a way to down enemies in the sky. And obviously, if Leviathan is possessed, we're going to need to fight him, and our bird is going to be par for the course. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do some hardcore Top Gun style training. You might say, we're training for the next mission. And of course he says that this is an extraordinary circumstance and only high-ranking knights who have mastered high-level flying techniques can use the move, but this is a, since it's a special circumstance, yeah. I'm being tested to make sure I can actually do it. Okay. Here we go! Let's do it, buddy! It's basically a game of break the targets while flying your bird. There are some stationary targets on the rocks, and there are a few birds carrying targets. So yeah, press A, and you can destroy them, but this is no easy feat. We have two minutes, and we gotta take out ten targets. Can we do it? Well, only one way to find out. Talk to me, Goose. Let's get her hot. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one first, because I think that one's the closest and the easiest one. There we go, that was good. Don't get this one. Alright, two for two, that's good. And a double dinger. Try and go for this low one. Alright! This is looking good. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I was playing this game for the first time, this part always gave me so much trouble. But right now, I'm looking really good. Alright, let's turn around. Go for another one. Okay, there's another stationary one. Speed burst, speed burst, speed burst. Nice! Whoa! Alright, this is looking really good. I might actually have this one snapped up. Nice! 7 out of 10. Well, obviously there's more than 10, but at the same time, I know I can do this. With how many I've hit and how much time I've got left, there is no way I can fail. And if I do, well, then may I horribly be a crushed from above somehow. Gotcha! Ooh, damn it! Okay! And with 37 seconds left, that was pretty damn impressive. Oh! You managed to destroy 10 targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problem at all. I knew you could do it, Link, and what a magnificent red bird. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how to go about finding Levias. Maybe the owner of the lumpy pumpkin might know something. Every year, he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levias. Go to the lumpy pumpkin and ask him what he knows. All right, so here we go, back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. It seems we can't get enough of that place. But you know what? In all honesty, I'm not really feeling up to going after Levias in this video. If anything, just the fact that I got that done so seamlessly, I'm content with it. So how's about we celebrate by doing a few spiral charges? pretty cool. But in all honesty, Instructor Allen said it lasted a little bit longer, but I really don't notice it. Maybe that's just me. And yeah, I flew so well, and now I'm acting like a dumb shit. Oh well, here we are at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Let's dive. Okay, so I'm gonna go find the save point, and that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we're finally gonna square off with Levias. Because obviously, if he's possessed, he is going to attack. But anyway, I'm rambling. Until next time, everybody, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. See you cool cats on the flip side.